G'day everyone, it's Warren and Colleen from NQ Explorers with a little beach adventure with our Garrett Apex machines in multi-salt mode. Now the reason we're at the beach is pretty simple. Most of the inland sites are so heavily overgrown, uh, our old permissions and some of the new stuff I've researched I've looked at, you can't even walk into some of these places. So a lot of those sites really aren't detectable, which is something for future to think about because uh, no one's detecting them at the moment. But anyway, beach is always detectable. Uh, the positive side about that, uh, all that bad weather was that we had these massive beach cuts as you can see behind me. There's literally probably three metres of sand come off this spot and you see unfortunately it's bringing down uh, coastal vegetation too. But the depth of this cut, deposition in here would have been from way back so hopefully there's a couple of pre-decimals even in here but there'll definitely be older coins, maybe some jewellery. Let's get into it. What do you got? Five cents. That's an old five cent coin, eh? Look, it's been there a long time. Yeah, so there might be more. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here's my first target. It's ten cents. Uh, I'll show you that up close in a minute. As you can see, we're just detecting this cut where these trees are falling in the recent, uh, uh, well, early winter storms have destroyed this beach. And these old coins, I would have thought this would have been detected, but that's uh, there's a chance that some. Uh, good finds along in this cut actually. So as you can see the beach has taken a lot of heavy damage here. Um, they do groom the front of the beach but not up in here obviously and the, this was a big slope down to the water uh, before the storms and now these trees are falling in unfortunately so we'll just work along this little spot here. Another coin. It's another five cent. Nice work. Yeah. So they're, um, they're obviously here. They're, they're down a little bit deep. Yeah, uh, well, about, but, six. but six months ago they were two metres under the sand. Yeah. And no one's going to find them then. So there's a potential for older stuff and some jewellery. Um, where I just got that 10 cent coin, that it came out of the bottom of this hole and that's dead set nine to 10 inches down. So uh, they're even deeper than this. But look, yeah, a few months ago, you would have two metres of sand in this spot. Right, another coin. I'm not sure if it's, I don't think it's five cents. I just got a five cent coin. What have we got here? We've got five coins in three minutes uh, in a spot that obviously has uh, been recently exposed. That's not five cents I don't think. It looks a bit bigger. Yeah it is. It is what? Five cents? Bigger. It is bigger, yeah. We'll wash it off. Alright, we'll just clean this coin up and see if we can identify it. But it's definitely an old coin at depth. Okay, this coin we just got, or Colleen just got, is uh, is the same size as a five cents. So it's either another five cent coin or a fifty percent sixpence. But uh, we'll have to wait till we get back to the Ute to clean it up. We're we'll back shortly with the uh, ID on the coin. Colleen's got a find over here. We're just going to report on. Hey, it's an old uh, Sardine tin key. Yeah, nice. Okay keep rolling. When we pulled up 10 minutes ago uh, in the car park there was a fella coming out here with a detector he'd obviously just been along here because he's got an unfilled hole I can see his footprints and yet he's just missed six coins and I just got one here right next to his hole. I think it's another five cent coin or it could be a one. It could be a one. I oh, know does that look like a five? Look I'm gonna have to do a wrap up uh, at the end with some still shots of all these coins we're finding. Okay, I'll just show you our setup and the machines we're using today. We're using Garrett Apex machines with the standard Viper double D coil and we've got it in multi-salt. Now this machine on the beach is outstanding in multi-salt. I've got the mode in zero so I want to dig everything or hear everything. Sensitivity's on seven, volume's on four. I've got my iron volume actually a bit louder and I'm in multi-salt and uh, channel four but there's no EMI out here and we're not interfering with each other. So that's what we're getting. We've been here 10 minutes and we've got six coins, I think, in this beach cut. Colleen's in under the old tree here. I'll just spin the mic around so you can get her audio. It might be another five cent, I think. Seems to be abundance of five cent coins. Yeah. Maybe people aren't digging that um, low. low numbers. Yeah. You're not drinking. They're not ages. What? What do you, yeah, that's right. So we're getting these, although that last coin I got, why well, I think it was one cent because it was an 83. 
What are you getting here? Fifties and the forties. Fifties. Sixties, sixty-seven, something like that. Okay, sixties. These are rubbish metal. They're just uh, Cupro zinc coins. These uh, yeah, five early pre decimals. There's a good chance for a uh, sorry early decimals. I mean, there's a good chance for a decimal in here though. A, a, a pre decimal at this depth, eh? Well, see, that's probably ten, twelve inches. Yeah, they're good depth. Well, that probably means the pre decimals, but I'll get that right eventually. Or even deeper. Mm. Righto. At the toe of that cut, where this fella's just walked past the metal detector, I've got a rock solid 81. This should, should be a good recovery. Uh, so well, let's do it live and risk the embarrassment of it not being a good recovery. But uh, I'll just sit you up back here so you can see what's going on and you should be able to hear the audio on the machine. Righto. Got an 8182 here. Here we go. We've got a sterling silver. King George V sixpence. How's that? What a ripper. Silver sixpence. KG5. How good is that? Someone's just detected this spot too. <laughs> this is why you detect these as big beach cuts. I don't know why it hasn't been detected because there's a lot of detectors down this way. As you heard that was a rip roaring signal and that's uh, sterling silver. Of course it's tarnished, it's been in the salt for a long time. But it's a King George V so it's definitely sterling. I can't read the date, but once again, I'll get back to some still photos later in the video. What do you got? I've got another five cent from here and a one cent from here. Nice work. Yeah, but see, I've only been in this little area here and I've what? I've got six coins. Yeah, look. Yeah. Well, as you can you probably just saw as I walked up here, that this, this cut goes for a, a kilometre or more. Um, Incredible what that uh, early winter storm's done to this beach. It got hammered, but I thought it'd be hammered by metal detectors, not just the the, the waves and the wind. <laughs> but look about that, and we got an old uh, pre decimal. There'll be more in here. Yeah. Awesome. Another five cent coin, probably uh, a meter from that silver sixpence I just got. Absolute bonanza in here. I might have enough money for lunch. Okay, it's just coinorama here. Just got to turn that directional mic around so you can hear what's going on. Yeah, uh, they're pretty corroded. Yeah. Five, is it a five? I think it's a five. Okay. Nice. Probably up to a dollar. Right, oh, I'll just show you the depth that we're getting these coins at. And this is deep, like I said, this was under two meters of sand. Now that's the depth of the pinpointer plus a bit more. And I've got a 77 up in here. I've got it out of the hole. Looks like it's a... What is this? That was 77. It looks to be... Oh, it's some sort of little medallion. As the helicopter flies over us. So this is going to be uh, copper, bronze or silver. It's got a little uh, neck loop thing there, so this is someone's little uh, jewellery. Ripper. They come nine inches down in this uh, wet sand here. That uh, apex, seriously, in multi salt is outstanding on the beach. You can put the coil in the water and look the housing, but for this kind of detecting it's perfect and it's dead silent. And out of that hole, at that depth, I've got this tiny little target, which is a sterling silver earring delicate little filigree earring what a ripper that's visible on the video 
I'll take some still shots once again of all the finds with my other camera. These GoPros aren't real good at the uh, close-ups, but yeah, that's what that is. Definitely silver. Right, this one's worth looking at. This is a measured 12 inches because I pinpointed the target in the side of the hole. Once I'm still working this fallen tree. Uh, that's the scoop it came out into the bottom of that hole. And what we've got is, I'll show you the target ID. Could be a one cent coin. Good depth though. 85, 86. Wait a minute, we'll have to, I've got to go and check with Colleen. She's just yelled out she's got something over there. I'd say this is two cents, look at that. Typical of a two cent coin. 85, 86, copper. Nice one. This was just like, yeah. this was just like a little whisper. Yeah. And I thought, you know, sorry, gee. Jeez, look at your hole. What do you got? You won't believe it. Okay. A gold ring. Yeah. Are you serious? That is beautiful. But, but that would be old. That, that's, that's just not, ring. that's just not lost. But look how beautiful it is. Oh, that is. Isn't that beautiful? Look you don't mistake car. gold when it comes out of the ground, do you? Oh, it's beautiful. That is heavy. Okay. That's uh, 18 karat gold. I can That's tell it is. Yeah. Don't wait. But just the colour of it too. I can't believe that. That was that was so deep, and it just had the tiniest little whisper. It's uh, got an inscription, or a, it's I a signet like ring, a little, I think. Yeah. Oh, that is that is the heaviest ring I've ever. That's nice. That's unbelievable. That is a super heavy. I'd say that's 18 karat gold. That's, I'll, have, I'll put that on the scales at home, on the gold scales, but that is super heavy. Now here's the interesting thing, I was just talking to a, a fella just walked past uh, on the beach, he watches our videos, and he was telling me that that bloke I talked about earlier had been in here, he'd been here four hours working this cut. Now we've got at least uh, 15 got coins least, yeah. and a gold ring. Might have 20 coins. I don't know what he was doing wrong. Wow, that is something else, eh? Hey? Yeah, it looks like, um, th that's just, Oh. That's just the I was, I'll probably give you a find of the day for that. I think so. That's just so. Oh, I'm so excited. It's like when a gold nugget comes out of the ground. You know, it's it's just the most oh, beautiful thing. Yep. Yeah. When when I saw go, the thing was gold, and I thought, hang on, look at the colour of that. <laughs> it's beautiful. That's going to be way old. Yeah. Look, we're getting back into the. the deepest thing I've done I think yet. we're getting back into the 30s and 40s, even earlier. I think with that coin I got. Yeah. So. Uh, it wasn't just dropped yesterday. No. But it's, uh, Talking to that local, he said this cut has been here for a few months, but he said it just got really bad over the last few days. So definitely undetected, other than by old mate earlier on. Uh, nice work. <laughs> this one's got um, the coat of arms on it, so maybe six a sixpence or threepence. Do you no, think? Oh yeah. Oh, a bit bigger it's than a pretty sixpence, probably. What was yeah. the number? Um, 80. Oh, yeah, it's going to be sterling sixpence. Yeah. Nice, there's two sixpences we've got here. And Hang on, is it a ring. sixpence? No, it's a, it's a... Threepence. Would it be a fourpence? Oh. No. Could be, but it's... Can't read it. Can you have a look? Oh, hang on, it's... Um... It's the size of a sixpence, isn't it? No? can't really see. It says coat of arm. It might be sixpence, yeah. Uh, I think it could be sixpence. Yeah, it looks like a sixpence. Yeah. It's, a, a, it's a George the Sixth sixpence. Yeah. But it's sterling by the number uh, on the target ID then. Yeah. But you know, when, when you first come across them, they're not actually giving a number. No. They're just a tiny blip. Yeah. And then once you get down about six inches, you're yeah. starting to pick up a number. So we're getting repeatable audio but then you don't get a target ID until you get a bit of depth on it yeah. because these are super deep. Like I keep saying, under what was three metres of sand just a few weeks ago. We're actually finding so many decimal coins here, I'm not filming them all, I'll just show you at the end. Uh, I'll film any significant finds such as the pre-decimals, uh, jewellery and of course that magical uh, solid gold ring that Colin found. Uh, I can't wait to get that home and identify it, it's very very heavy, definitely going to be 18 karat gold. That's a heck of a find. Been here a long time too. Might be able to get some sort of date off it with from the hallmark. Let's crack on. Well, this is just my take so far. There's more coins in my pouch. I could dig them out of the sand. Have a look at the number of coins. And Colin's got more than me, plus that awesome gold ring. What a spot. Might have to come back tomorrow.
another one cent coin or two two cent coin. Oh, got a ring. Have a look at that. Got ourselves a ring. Let's have a look at it. Well, here's that ring. I don't know if it's silver, but it's got a stone of some description in it. It's a lady's ring, obviously. It's quite thin, but uh, I don't think it'll have any mark on it. Could just be junk jewelry, but uh, a ring nonetheless. Not quite as good as Colin's great big chunk of gold, but that's all right. Okay, Colin's just had a look at this ring. She thinks it's very old silver. It has got a kind of a Victorian feel, or maybe early 1900s, but uh, stone's still in situ. We'll study it when we get home. Right now, we're going to finish up here on the beach. We'll head back home. I'll clean up those coins, and uh, we'll have a look at what we found here today. Back shortly.